Hi, this is Stephanie. As part of my Synthesizing the Sound of Space project, one of the things I really wanted to do this summer was play a theremin. <laughs> this theremin from Moog comes from the Capital Area District Library. Uh, they have, I think, five of them in their library of things, so you can rent them from the library and play around with them and see if it's something that you like uh, musically experimenting with. So it has two antennae, um, a volume antennae and a pitch antennae. And by playing the two um, in combination, you can get a wide variety of um, pitches and volume. What's interesting about the Moog Theremini is that there are a few other uh, controls on here. So you can switch scales, you can have it do pitch correction for you, which as somebody who isn't musically inclined to begin with, is fantastic. Um, so right now, pitch correction is on this by half. Um, uh, we've got some presets in here too, which we'll uh, explore for a little bit. But I've already gone through and done the setup where I've moved away from it. I've moved close and far from the pitch antenna, close and far from the volume antenna, and then set the, the scale range on here. So right now, uh, the range we've got is three octaves. So we're gonna go ahead and um, give it a shot. So I'm not as good at playing the theremini or the theremin as other people you're gonna see on YouTube because this literally is, I maybe had it out for 30 minutes. <laughs> but it's been really fun to explore the different ways in which um, pitch and volume happen. And you can see I move my hands a lot, so clearly I'm interacting with it. So I set my low uh, pitch here and I'm going to raise the volume a little bit. I'm actually going to raise the volume in general a little bit on the theremin itself too. So if I'm just here, you can see as I raise and lower, and raise and lower, we get volume changes. But as I move my hand toward, let's pick a volume. As I move my hand toward the pitch antenna, so we're at C5 here. We're on the classic theremin setting. And our scale is a range of three octaves. And you'll see that I'm doing this trick with my right hand and the pitch antenna where I've got, we're making a circle and I've got three fingers and that allows you to have fine precision over where the pitch goes. Uh, this is a trick that I saw on YouTube on a variety of videos for learning to play um, an octave on your theremin or your theremini. So um, check those out. Uh, Carolina Ike has a really nice one. I'll put it in the comments. But let's see what happens when we change out some of the presets. We're in classic theremin. What do we got? Super fast saw. That's kind of fun, huh? In orbit perfectly themed for our space adventure. Don't touch your antenna like I just did. Ooh, I'm liking this one. Ribbons. Now there are a bunch of presets on here and we're not gonna go through all of them. A thrill. If I can't crank the volume here. Square waves, love a square wave.
strange stuff. Ghostly, perhaps? So let's see. There are 32 presets. This one's called Magic Missile. So we're gonna go back to our original classic theremin. And I just wanna tell you that you can also change your scale so you're not stuck in the traditional Western music types. But um, one of my favorite scales is Mixolydian. So let's see if we can't get up there. Root. Ah, there we go. Mixolydian. It always gives that kind of like eerie weird sound that I like. We're in a C root here. I always like to work from C because that's what I work with in BCV Rack too. As somebody who's starting out, it's just nice to have similar presets across the board. 